not personnel of the Nigerian Army. And still on security matters, the Chief of Naval Staff, Vice Admiral Emmanuel Ogala, has commended the achievements recorded by the Nigerian military against oil theft in 2023. Now he's demanding more efforts in reading the country of oil criminals in 2024. And Joseph Kunde has details. Bloomsburg positive statistics on Nigeria's crude oil production in 2023 are a testament to the successful crackdown on illegal oil activities across the country. But when the country is still lagging on its OPEC quota, the Chief of Naval Staff, Vice Admiral Emmanuel Ogala, is in Bayelsa as part of his first official visit to commands and military formations across the country. He is now seeking the cooperation of the commander of Operation Delta Safe, Rear Admiral Lucia Pereira, during a meeting at the JTF headquarters in Ibogene. President Bola Ahmed Tinubu, when he took over from office, he made it very clear that we must turn the tide against the criminals with a view to increasing revenue for the nation. I want to thank you because I know that JTF, within the past few months, a lot has been achieved. For us, a key performance indi indicator is clearly what are the levels of production we have for crude oil on a daily basis. And um, in the last few months, these figures have been increasing. And even up till yesterday, Bloomberg from the U.S. released a figure that Nigeria increased the global production by OPEC by 50,000 barrels per day. That was in the month of um, December. Shortly after, Vice Admiral Emmanuel Ogala visits the headquarters of the Central Naval Command in Nagudama and was received by the officers and men of the command. Addressing the officers and ratings of the Nigerian Navy ship Soro, the Admiral warns against unprofessionalism as it demands more efforts against crude oil criminals. Year 2024, we intend to increase capacity by another 50%. We also recognize that in any organization, maybe you can have one or two bad eggs who want to spoil and give bad image to the Nigerian Navy. And we are working seriously, we have put mechanisms in place to be able to identify some of them. And recently some of them were identified and we have been dealt with. Earlier, the Chief of Naval Staff embarked on a courtesy call to the government house in Yanagua, where he was received by the Bayelsa State Deputy Governor, Lawrence Rujapo, as more partnership is solicited for better results in 2024. Joseph Kunde, TVC News, Yanagua. And more 